Welcome by Stuff Made by Nick. In today's video, I will show you how you can make your own notebook with your signature on it. Enjoy the video! To make your own paper, you need some old papers. Uh, you can use cardboards as well. You need a blender, a container with some water, a sieve to strain it out of the water, and some cloths where you can put on the wet paper. The first step is to blend the papers in the blender. You need to, to fill the blender with some water. So the blender is now filled with some water. Now you can put the paper and the cardboards in it. Uh, you can better use some small, smaller papers uh, or cardboards because it blends a little bit easier and faster. Uh, different kinds of papers bring different kinds of colors. This is more white because it gives them wire paper. When you use uh, brown cardboard, you get more brown. And when you all blend it together, it's more like a gray. When you have blended, you have a great bulk of paper and you put it in a big container. So this is the last piece of paper I have. It was the last uh, part of paper when I have blended. I will put it in the container and I will show you how I first blend the paper in the container because it is not one color at the moment. And then we start making the paper. First, put the blender away and make some space on your table. So now it's mixed and now we can make paper. So, we can finally make some paper. I will use a sieve for it. First, I will put a cloth uh, on the table where I can put it on. The sieve is not really fitting in the container at the moment, so I will do some adjustments that it fits a little bit easier. So, now we can finally strain the paper. Now I will use the cloth and put it over the circle because it takes some water away and I can put it around. Then I pick another cloth to take some water out of it from, the, from above. And put the water back in the container. Here you have it, the first paper. Now you can repeat this process lots of times that you have enough paper. are all my paper 
first they are wet and now I'll show you how you can make them dry. I will show you now two techniques uh, to dry your papers. The first is with some cloth hangers and the second one is with a heat gun. Now you can hang them somewhere where you can dry it. I will hang them in my bedroom where they can dry because they are, have some drops on the bottom and they can leak on the ground in my bedroom. For the second technique I will use a heat gun and dry the paper with some heat. They take some time as well. As you can see, at the moment this is round and I will make them square. I will make them uh, 22 by 16. Here you have square and I will fold them and then we have the front and the back of the notebook. I've cut all my cardboard papers what I have made my own. Now it is time to put some papers in it. I will put them at the same size. Only I use a little bit of other method because this is a little bit easier, but it isn't great to cut in cardboard, but for normal paper it is. I've cut all my papers in the same size as this. Now I will take 13 pages, I will fold them. After that I fold them, I put them in here and I will stitch them together. I had one piece of paper extra. I've uh, put some dots on it and that's where I will make the holes with this and I will put them in here and in this one as well. I first start with this. You fold them open, put the page in the middle and put the holes in.
time to stitch them together. We have put uh, holes in both uh, sides. I will take a thread with a needle and I stitch them together. So at the end of the thread is now a knot. So we can put the thread in. So as you see, the paper is not uh, lining up great. Um, that is because you are folded, just the pages in the middle are go a little bit out and the other pages go a little bit in. Uh, just now I will cut them straight uh, with a ruler. <laughs> So now it looks a little bit better. At last I will paint my own logo on it and I will show you that next. I have printed my logo on a 3D printer and I will put them uh, with some uh, orange paint on my notebooks and then they are ready. There you have it, your own made notebook. I hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.